Good morning, you're watching the Iron Wheel Vlog, your place to find tips, tricks and experience in triathlon, multi-sport and endurance events and training. So today I am going to Adelaide. Uh, as I mentioned in my last video, it's the uh, capital city of South Australia. And I'm going to try and do a little bit more in the way of exercise that I did last week when I was in Melbourne. Uh, so I'm going to try and get to the gym a little bit more, run a little bit more. I'm just getting a bite to eat and a nice little drink to have while I'm at the Qantas Club lounge here. I do have a special surprise lined up for Saturday, so uh, keep on watching and you'll find out what that is very soon. Quite a nice airport. Now it's going to get a cab into the city and meet with the people that I'm training this week. All right, so I'm here in Adelaide. Oh, so many bags. So I'm only here at this hotel until Friday because work's paying for this hotel. And then personally, I can't afford this sort of hotel. So I'm staying in hostel for the following couple of nights. So the Friday night and Saturday night, and then flying back Sunday, going back to Sydney. The main part of my week, the fun part of my week will begin on the weekend when I go to Today I am going on a cycling tour through a few wineries in the McLaren Vale region of South Australia. I also found out today, by coincidence, today is the annual Christmas pageant here in South Australia, which I had a quick walk through. Um, if I had to get through there later on in the day, apparently would be impossible. It is so chock-a-block with kids putting chalk all over the road. There's going to be a parade. There's a giant Christmas tree. It's pretty insane out there right now. They've even got a flyover. What? For a Christmas parade. So the tour I'm going on today, as I mentioned before, is through the McLaren Vale Winery here in South Australia. They produce some absolutely spectacular wines. So I'm gonna really enjoy that. And it is a cycling tour. So they provide you a bike, they provide you a helmet, and we all cycle through the different wineries and see the different places, which is gonna be amazing. And I haven't done nearly enough cycling training. I've mostly done sort of indoor trainers, actually. So given I've got my half Ironman in like, what, three weeks, two weeks, something like that. Shoot, it's really coming up fast. Uh, I need to get in some cycling training. And I won't be doing Le Tap this year. Unfortunately, just can't afford it, but I may be volunteering at it. I put my name down as a volunteer, potentially, so I'm hoping to get a call this week to sort of confirm that. That'd be awesome if I could volunteer at that. And because we're going to have a little bit of wine throughout the day, we're not going to be cycling to and from Adelaide City Centre to McLaren Vale. It's about a 45 minute drive, so we're taking a bus. Here it is. going to ride straight to Wollonga Markets, 10 to 11. It's probably a half hour ride, it shuts at 12.30. So I've got to get going. Yeah. So we're going to join the trail, which is just crossing the road here. We're just going to go up here, and we're going to go that way. <coughs> Bang, we're just going to follow the trail. Just keep following the trail, enjoy the ride. 
Follow me to the start and we're off. Today it's my last day in Adelaide and I was planning on going for a bit of a run today. Unfortunately, logistically, that's probably not going to happen since I've got to leave my luggage somewhere, I've got to find somewhere to change and all of that and it's just not really going to happen. Plus, I've already had breakfast. So today instead, I'm probably going to go for a bit of a walk through the Botanical Gardens, which is where I am now quite beautiful. I haven't been to the Adelaide Botanical Gardens before. I have been to the Sydney one. That's always amazing. If you get a chance to go to Sydney Botanical Gardens, definitely go to them. And I might try and rock up to the gym at some point today as well. Maybe do my run there instead. Of course, the Botanical Gardens have a whole bunch of weddings on the weekends. So I've already seen three weddings being set up and one operating. So of course, if you ever want to get married, Botanical Gardens is a beautiful place to do it. So yesterday I did the winery tour, uh, the cycling tour, which was awesome. Uh, to check out my full video about that, I'll leave a link up, I think it's somewhere up there. And that was through the tour company Tour Divines, um, which runs tours all over the world. Australia, New Zealand, Asia and Europe. I had a nice run earlier this week in Adelaide. Just ran around the city. It's a beautiful place to run. Adelaide is completely surrounded by a giant park. So right now the botanical gardens make up part of that park, but otherwise there's the river. There's various other parks all over the place, so it's a great place to run. And also from what I found when I was doing the ride yesterday through the Shiraz Trail, there are loads of bike paths everywhere and it's just a really cycling friendly area. So if you wanna go cycling or running, um, then Adelaide is amazing. Plus there's also the beaches if you go down south and west of Adelaide. So it's also a very swim friendly area. So it's a great place if you want to train for a triathlon. So now to talk quickly about uh, plans for the future. So I have my half Ironman coming up in, it's only two weeks. And you know, I've kind of come to the terms that I'm not going to be getting any sort of fast time. I haven't done nearly enough training, all that sort of stuff. So I've decided I'm just gonna have fun with it. Not really bother about the time. Just aim to finish, aim to get to the end and just have a fun day. And that this year is kind of a little bit of a write-off in terms of I'm not really focusing too much on anything um, from well, the Ironman back in May was really my last major event. Um, I didn't do enough training for the marathon, so that was just a fun event in the end. And so I'm just gonna see this year as a sort of relax year, a year where I'm not doing and not that much dedicated training and then I'm going to get fully back into it next year. One thing I'm going to try and start my training off with next year is I want to do an ultra. So when it gets released, I think November 20th this month, I'm going to go into the ballot to try and get an entry into the six foot track marathon, ultra marathon, which is a 45 kilometer run, but it's through, I think the snowy mountains or some sort of mountains maybe the Blue Mountains or something like that. And it's, it feels more like a 60 kilometer marathon, apparently. And ideally, I wanna be getting into something like the UTA 50 or UTA 100, which are 
very popular events. Um, really long ultra marathon, ultra trail running marathon events. And that's something I want to do a lot more throughout this next year is to actually get out more in nature, maybe go camping, go trail running, go ultra marathoning, that sort of stuff. I love the running part of it. So I'm gonna go out and try and do a lot more of that. And hey, maybe I might also get into some like mountain biking, um, trail biking, that sort of stuff. That always looks pretty awesome and I've never really had a go at it. Who knows, might get that a go next year too. Another little interesting thing I learned about Adelaide is that it's the only major city in Australia that wasn't settled by convicts. So it's the only non-convict city in Australia. So I managed to stumble across the wine, the National Wine Centre of Australia. So I'm gonna learn a bit more about wines today. Mm, yum. It is now 10 past 5 in the afternoon here in Adelaide and that is where my trip starts to finish up. So I'm about to head off to the airport to pick up my bags, get a cab to the airport, head back to Sydney and that'll conclude my few weeks worth of crazy travel here, there and everywhere. At least for a little while. Get back to normalness for a bit. Yeah.